Today is a massive announcement as Moussa Diaby has officially signed for Aston Villa for 50 million euros. Incredible signing. It is a record signing for Aston Villa. Uh, the record was previously held by Emi Buendia. We did go close to that with Pal Torres. That was reportedly 31 million. Uh, so the fact that we have absolutely obliterated that record, uh, I'm very excited. Diaby did very well for Bayer Leverkusen. The same uh, team, by the way, that we bought Leon Bailey from. Diaby scored nine. I think he got nine assists last year in the Bundesliga. I'm very happy with this signing. I think we are really showing our intent this season. We want to do well in Europe and we want to keep doing well in the Premier League. I am absolutely delighted. We had to fight off Al Nasser, who are a Saudi Arabian rich team. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo plays for them. They've got lots of money. Uh, so I didn't actually think that we would get him over the line when I heard that they were interested. So the fact that we fought them off, I think is just incredible. Um, it really shows that he cares about football more than money. You know, he wants to play in the Premier League, wants to play in the best league in the world. And he can now do that with Aston Villa. And well, the sky's the limit really for what this team can not just accomplish this year, but for many years to come. Um, a bit more of a downer for news, but I, I think we could all see this coming. Miles Nakamba a few days ago, a sign for Luton Town. He was on loan with them last season uh, he did really well for them he got them promoted i watched the uh, playoff games with luton uh, with nakamba i thought he played very well i think he suited the championship brilliantly i think he's a phenomenal player like defensively i just think nakamba struggled going forward his passing wasn't amazing sometimes and i think for the top end of the premier league you kind of need someone slightly better than nakamba he always gives 100 percent though i'd never uh, criticised Nakamba for his work rate. I think he'll be a great player for Luton. All they want to do is try their best to stay up in the Premier League, and I think Nakamba could help them do that. Um, maybe if they stay up by the skin of their team, he will definitely be influential for them. I'm not surprised that they've wanted to sign him permanently. My worry is, and I've said this before, I want a, a large squad really for Europe because we're going to have to play a lot of games in a short period of time. I want us to do really well in the Europa Conference League. I want us to win it. You know, West Ham won it last year. They're not a great side. I think, you know, we have enough quality to win it. And, uh, you know, the bigger the squad, the better. So I'm a, I'm a little bit upset, but uh, maybe we can bring in more players. Who knows? We don't know what the uh, uh, the Villa scouts or the, the idea is for Villa transfers. We've already bought three players. Maybe we're eyeing even more players for the squad. Who knows? And the final... Uh, announcement today, Newcastle versus Aston Villa is the first official friendly on tour. We did have a game. I didn't cover it on this channel, but we did play Warsaw. It was mainly our academy players like Philogene Bidace played. It was a one-all draw. I did watch it. Um, I just, I didn't really feel like streaming it because I, it wasn't Aston Villa to me. It was like a mix of, uh, a mix of a couple first team players with academy players. This, however, is will probably feature the, the majority of the first team and I will be covering it on this channel as well. You can watch it live with me. Uh, it's going to be on Sky as well, which is interesting. We don't really get friendlies on Sky, um, but I'm guessing it, you know, it's Newcastle. Sky want to cover Newcastle a lot with their money. So I, I can see Newcastle featuring a lot this year, especially now they're in the Champions League. There's going to be more eyes on them. Uh, but that is the final story for today. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate all your support over the summer. Uh, I can't wait for the season to start. Not long now. You can watch it all on this channel with the Europa Conference League, the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup. Who knows what we can win this season? Maybe, just maybe, we can do it all. Who knows? It's Aston Villa. Thank you all for watching. See you again very soon.